The keyboard you just saw is the Razer Huntsman, a brand new keyboard from Razer with a very interesting style of key switch. Instead of using a standard Cherry or even Razer's own style of key switches, which are mostly fully mechanical type switches with a metal sort of interrupts, this uses opto mechanical switches, which in essence is a light beam or a laser, as some people are calling it, uh, which is interrupted by the key switch, but when you push it down, it makes the connection and allows for the key to be registered. Now as you can see when you take a keycap off, it does use the standard Cherry MX stock, so if you want to replace the keycaps on this keyboard, feel free to do so. Most keycaps that you can get aftermarket side will work just fine. These ones are pretty thin and have a bit of a sort of strange, almost slippery coating on them, so just bear that in mind if you do pick this up. But otherwise, the actual key switch itself, every single key switch has a stabilizer bar, which means that the key actual kind of feel and wobble is actually pretty minimal. Now I want to talk about the key feel, but I want to clarify first that everything that I talk about here is mostly going to be my subjective analysis of my own experience and you may enjoy the keyboard differently to me so just bear that one in mind. Now with that said because of that stabilizer bar there is a pretty linear motion all the way down which is great. The overall key feel really to me feels almost like the worst part of blues and the worst part of reds in that the, the blues obviously have a tactile click and this keyboard is incredibly loud. Here's a quick uh, audio test. And on top of that, you have what is essentially a very light key switch. There really isn't too much force to uh, you know, push down or lift up. But the problem for me is that the uh, actual blue kind of mechanical click, if you like, that seems to take a lot of force to actually actuate. And then because the key switch itself is incredibly light, you almost always bottom out the key every time. And because of the tactile click being quite a rigid system, it means that actuating keys quite quickly for rapid fire of pressing, say, pressing F multiple times in a row, uh, that just doesn't work that well and means that this can be a little bit of a more annoying experience than, say, a Cherry MX Brown keyboard. The actuation point is fairly dead on for uh, the standard just pressing the key down for where the click is, but when you're trying to actuate the key multiple times, especially when, when you're not using the full stroke of the key, that's where it gets a bit different and a bit difficult to really work out where the actuation point is. Sometimes it will click again, sometimes it won't, and that means a very different key feel depending on uh, if it clicks or not, and then overall just the tiny experience for me wasn't that great. Again, obviously this is my personal preferences, and my personal preference is Cherry Mix Brown switches, which have a light tactile bump, but overall a good sort of weight to them, whereas for me this one, the click is incredibly loud and generally a bit annoying. The, the actual click mechanism itself feels pretty stiff, but the overall key switch feels incredibly light. So personally, it's not my favorite, but it's an option if you want to try it. Now, of course, this is a Razer keyboard, so there are a lot of functionality options for it. So first of all, you have the FM key and the rows at the top for controlling your lighting and also some media keys. The Elite version of this has some extra RGB elements, including some specific media controls up at the top by the Razer logo, but otherwise you still do have the macro recording functionality built into the keyboard, as well as the game mode, which you can see all of the indicator lights just above the arrow keys. On the back of the keyboard you have a number of sets of feet which is actually quite cool which means that you can have a standard typing experience, a slightly raised typing experience or a decently raised typing experience. Now bear in mind that this one is the standard Huntsman not the Elite so it doesn't have a wrist rest included in the box which means that the overall typing experience I generally feel Razer keyboards are quite high so it wasn't that sort of ergonomic for me and I would personally recommend either, either picking up a wrist rest or going with the elite version as razor wrist rests are actually rather quite nice um, but overall as said it should help with the overall typing experience. Gaming on the keyboard was just fine obviously most gaming keyboards including membrane keyboards are going to be fine for gaming it's normally more on the typing side that you see a massive difference. The one thing that I would mention though is that for this kind of higher actions per minute games this one might not be that great just because as I said the tactile click makes it fairly difficult to actually actuate the switch and means that you can't just rapid fire actuate a switch multiple times rather than something like a Cherry MX Brown or even a Cherry MX Red uh, where that's going to be a lot easier to do. 
Otherwise, if you prefer the very low typing experience, then this one could be for you. I do recommend that you try it out before you buy one, just to make sure that the typing experience is good for you. But otherwise, it's not terrible. I wouldn't say that it's any better than any other keyboards, and I wouldn't say that the actuation point is significantly better, although they do list it as a more sort of long-lasting key type and can withstand a few more clicks, if you like. Um, so in theory, could be sort of even longer-lasting, but at the same time, I've had uh, a number of mechanical keyboards with cherry switches and I've had none of them die or have any issues. So I don't know that that's necessarily a real world kind of worry, if you like. Now, would I put this on my desk? Well, personally, and as you can probably tell, no, I'm gonna be sticking with Mercula Master or Master Keys Pro L. That's my, my personal favorite still. Um, this one is, is all right, but as I said, the key feel just isn't great for me and is not my, my personal preference. If they were to make one that is uh, a closer feel to a Cherry MX Brown, then I would actually be more willing to give it a shot and sort of try it out. But otherwise, for the time being, we're gonna go with a no on that one. It is still a decent keyboard though, and if you like a Cherry MX Blue but want it to be a bit louder, because anyone has ever said that, um, or you want them to be a little bit lighter, then it could be interesting for you to check out and feel free to do so if you fancy it. But for me personally, um, it's not one that I would uh, put on my desk. With that said though, that's my thoughts. I would love to hear yours in the comments down below. Have you picked up a Razer Huntsman or the Huntsman Elite and you love it or hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. And also just generally speaking, from what you've seen and heard, is this a keyboard that you're interested in or are you going to be sticking with your current one or go with something else? Let me know down there too. If you want to pick up one of these Razer Huntsmans or the Elite or just want to check out pricing when and where you watch this, then take a look at the link in the description down below. I'll take you to your local Amazon store. You can also check out the other links in the description, including Patreon, where you can support me directly or the Amazon and Overclock Shikate affiliate links which also massively help me out when you use those and buying from those places. If you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you're interested in this video or anything else then there are plenty of others over here for you to check out. Otherwise thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you all in the next video.